there guys, it's me Pat and welcome back again to another tutorial. For today's video, I'm going to discuss example number one on how to use true tables to evaluate logical equivalences. Now, if you haven't watched my first video about the easy version on how to evaluate true tables, make sure to watch it first and I'll be putting the link down below and up here. And guys, just a reminder na yung mga given natin na logical equivalences examples dito will be the same as dun sa mga logical equivalences replacement rules problems natin. Okay? So let's now proceed to our first example, which is show that not bracket P or close and open parenthesis not P and Q close bracket is logically equivalent to not P and not Q. So guys, again, meron tayong left hand side na tinatawag and yung right hand side. Kayo bahala kung gusto niyo mag-start dito sa left hand side or dito sa right hand side, okay? Now, if you will notice, yung left hand side natin ay may dalawang variables, namely P and Q. At ang right hand side natin ay meron din P and Q na variables. Now, ibig sabihin kasi kapag logically equivalent ang mga given na to is that meron silang parehas na truth values. Since dalawang variables natin dito, ang truth table natin would be like this. Ayan. Okay? So, ang una natin gagawin is to start dito sa may parenthesis. And that would be not P and Q. So, ibig sabihin, kukuha nilang natin yung end nitong not P at saka nung Q. So, that would be true and false. That would be false. And then, true and true. That would be true. False and false. That would be false. And then, false and true. That would be false. Okay? Now, after natin dito sa parenthesis is itong bracket naman. So, that would be P or not P and Q. Ayan. Ibig sabihin nito, kukuha lang natin yung P na value at saka itong group na to. Kailangan lang natin sila i-or. So, that would be false or false. That would be false. And then, false or true. That would be true. True or false. That would be true. And then, true or false. That would be true again. So, after natin dito is magpro-proceed na tayo sa buong statement na to. So, ang mangyayari lang is in-negate natin itong buo, and that would be this statement. So, ibig sabihin, itong false magiging true, itong true magiging false, at yung true magiging false ulit, at yung true dito magiging false. Okay? Now, tapos na tayo sa left-hand side. Magpro-proceed naman tayo dito sa my right-hand side, and that would be not P and not Q. Just a reminder guys, yung not P at saka yung not Q, meron na tayong values. Ito yung dalawang yun, di ba? So, kailangan lang natin sila i-end. So, that would be true and true, that would be true. True and false, that would be false. Then, false and true, that would be false. And then, false and false, that would be false again. So, if you'll notice, itong dalawang to, which is ito yung left hand side at yung right hand side, ay parehas yung truth values nila na true, false, false 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 so that's it for example number one guys thanks for watching and please do like and subscribe to my channel bye